I don't want to make this video. What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Alan. I got some bad news. So, this past Sunday, I had a little accident with the car. I was driving off of a feeder that is kind of known for getting flooded. And I tried to evade, you know, this big ass puddle that formed up. And I hydrolocked the RSX. I couldn't manually crank it. My brother in law and myself, we took out the spark plugs. We tried to dry it out as much as we can, rope it up the manifold. And just, I couldn't bring back the RSX back to life. So, some of y'all are gonna ask yourself, now what? What's gonna happen with the RSX? So, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Now nah, I'm just bullshitting you. I actually just bought a K24A, excuse me, I just ate Chipotle. Ugh. Anyways, I just bought a K24 from a TSX. I'm doing the engine swap. I got somebody that's going to be doing it for me. Uh, due to the fact that, you know, uh, being active duty right now and just having a lot of shit on my plate, I'm not going to be able to do it myself. And on top of that, um, I'm kind of on my own on this one. You feel me? So I got I, I got to do what I got to do to bring back the RSX to life. But I'm actually really excited because you know some of y'all suggested in the comment section I believe like I want to say like four videos ago to do an engine swap engine swap with a, with a TSX. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Um, the guy man, the guy that I that I got in contact with, he's actually pretty cool. I'm actually familiar with him. We used to go to the same reserve center uh, back in Houston. So he's he's a pretty cool pretty cool person. I know him personally. Uh, so I'm actually really excited to um, to be doing the engine swap. Uh, it's gonna cost me a little bit, but uh, I think at the end it's gonna be worth it. And I know, I know, shit. Don't fucking pay attention to this. It's <sighs> pimple got fucking worse. Okay, it's just. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned for the engine swap. And actually, this dude that I'm gonna be taking it to for him to actually do the engine swap for me. He actually owns a dyno with tuning and everything like that. So hopefully I'm going to be seeing uh, some videos of my car being tuned. Uh, put it on a dyno after, you know, um, after the engine swap. And also, um, I just bought some really expensive spark plugs. <laughs> and oil, oil filter, and coolant. So yeah. Hopefully by this week I should be sending the car up there to Spring, Texas uh, and getting it worked on. I actually just bought the engine today. It was about $1,100, uh, which sucks uh, because, you know, just spending too much money. But to be honest with you, I feel like it's going to be worth it at the end because I love that car. I know y'all, the people that subscribe to me, you know, y'all love that car. Y'all like seeing uh, what I do to the car. But, um, yeah, that's what happened. I hydrolocked it, it got water in through the cold air intake. Um, the cold air intake actually was rubbing against the frame of, of the car and it actually created like this big hole. I think I should, uh, I think I can, I can um, insert a picture later on in this video. So yeah guys, um, hopefully y'all uh, stick around for this engine swap. I hope y'all are excited like I am. Y'all have a good night.